Mark out the location of the wall by checking the design drawings or by agreement with the project engineer, architect or client. Excavate the trench for the foundation. Install the foundation material and fully compact using a plate compactor to ensure a level base. The typical depth of the foundation should be 200mm after compaction. To ensure a level base course, remove the nib from the base of the block to be used on the base course using a bolster and a club hammer. Place the blocks onto the foundation and use a string line along the back of the blocks to check for alignment. Lay a perforated drainage pipe centred on a line 150mm from the back of the base course. The pipe should connect to a suitable outlet or soak away. Fill the gap in front of the base course with on-site soil. Completely fill the two voids in each block and the drainage column behind the blocks with 10mm single size drainage aggregate. Fully compact the soil in front of the base course. Use a spirit level to ensure the blocks are level along their length and from front to back. Brush the top surface of the blocks to remove any debris which may affect the wall level prior to laying subsequent layers. Push the blocks forward until the nib on the base of the block tightly locates against the blocks beneath. Place the blocks on top of the base course, ensuring that they are in running bond pattern in relation to the blocks on the base course. Vertical joints should not directly line up between courses. Fill the voids in each block and backfill the drainage column to a width of 300mm. Backfill the remainder of the space behind the drainage zone in a maximum 200mm lifts with free drainage soil or aggregate and compact the backfill material until it is level with the drainage aggregate. Brush the top surface of the blocks to remove any debris which may affect the wall level prior to laying subsequent layers. Never build any higher than three courses before backfilling. Repeat this process until you have reached the maximum gravity wall height of 1 metre. Top off the area behind the wall with soil. To install the copings, use a concrete exterior grade construction adhesive applied with a cartridge gun. Generously apply the adhesive to the block. For full installation details and material specifications, please download or secure a technical guide.